you so often hear of people's most tough time of the year being Christmas, those who are lonely or who've been affected. I was mm. talking to an old workmate of mine yesterday whose mother died earlier in the year and she said she's dreading Christmas, at first Christmas without her mother. Uh, talk us through a little bit of that and uh, have you experienced that over time with people in your role as priest, well, was, bishop, etc.? Yeah, only, only, only last week I was talking to a mate of mine whose um, mother died the week before wow. you know, and had the funeral and and uh, I've, I've, both my parents have now died, and um, so I've gone through that stage of what it's like losing your parents and mm. becoming an orphan. And so I was talking a little bit about that for him. It's quite amazing how, uh, with those you're very close to and spend considerable amounts of time with, when they're not there all of a sudden, patterns in your life still stayed the same. Mm -hmm. So I remember when mum died, it, it took me a few months before I got out of the habit of thinking, oh, I've got to ring mum tonight or mm, that's something like that. Yeah. So so those sorts of things, I think, um, rise to the surface for a lot of people at this time of year. There's other aspects that are associated with that too, I think. It, it's, it's kind of a mad season mm. in, in that we're rushing around doing this and that and there's this sort of work party and that sort of family function and so on and so forth and all of that sense of we've got to get it all done before Christmas Day contributes I think to um, uh, kind of putting us in a bit of a an unusual situation each of us so there might be things that are we're finding as a struggle personally uh, missing those that we love or something like mm. that and the, the, the madness of the rush of everything. When you combine all of that, it, it can be a little disorienting, I think. And it's interesting. We're all eager and keen for Christmas, but it can bring up all sorts of disorienting feelings in people. And I think it's important that people just note that. There's nothing wrong with it. There's actually nothing wrong with that. Um, it's great that people might be missing someone that they love. That's a, that's a very beautiful thing. Yes. It's a sign of ongoing love. They, they, they might be a bit uh, all caught up in the things that are, that are happening, but, but again, they're, they're moments where people are trying to bring some sort of sense of the festivity and, and the joy of the moment. So all those things that can be disorienting are nonetheless moments of reflection as well. <laughs> 